Now that uh, we've told you how to save some money, you want to save on calories for that meal. Mm -hmm. And you know who has tips? Charlotte has That tips. would be me. Thank you, Rob. I am here with St. Mary's dietitian Cheryl Cleave with a few ideas to help just not stuff yourself with all of that turkey on Thursday. Right. Stuff your turkey, not yourself. Yeah, that's that's my one. motto. We know that the average Thanksgiving meal contains more than 2,000 calories and 100 grams of fat. In fact, some estimates were 5,000 calories during okay, Thanksgiving. Okay, that's like your daily oh, or and then double. some. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And so you want to plan ahead. Don't starve yourself all day and then eat Which that is a huge common thing, meal. A common is, thing. Yeah. And you should eat lighter, you know, eat a, a, a good breakfast with some fiber like oatmeal and maybe a light lunch, maybe a salad and some soup, and save more of your calories for that Thanksgiving meal, but don't starve yourself all So it's day. like the same concept of don't go grocery shopping hungry. Exactly, Okay. exactly, because you're, you're gonna gorge yourself mm -hmm. if you're very, very hungry. Limit the cocktails. Uh, it's important to know that um, alcohol contains a surprising amount of calories, mm -hmm. and if you drink more alcohol, you're going to uh, have a lack of judgment about your food choices. Uh, yeah, good point. A wine spritzer, Mm -hmm. It saves hundreds of calories over spiced eggnog. And you can alternate between maybe sparkling water or water mm -hmm. and alcoholic drinks okay. with your food. Right. Um, make and healthier again, choices. It's choices. It is. It's about choices. You know, uh, if you look at the different pies that are available for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. which is the healthiest? Do you suppose between, say, pumpkin and, and pecan? I would say pumpkin just exactly. because you just know that there's so much sugar. Yes, it's half pecan. the calories. It's, it's yummy, but yes. Yet. Mm -hmm. And top it with whipped cream instead of ice cream. Whipped mm -hmm. cream, for half a cup of whipped cream, there's half the calories as uh, compared to a half a cup of ice cream. Okay. Yes. Make your calories count. Eat the foods that you really like. Eat small amounts and pass over the things that you're really not excited about eating. And finally, if it's a potluck, mm -hmm. bring a healthy dish that you know you can eat or a big bowl of fresh fruit salad. That's, I guess it's just... It, like you said, it's all about choices. It and is. you know, there's just so common, you hear it every year, oh, I'm not gonna eat until Thanksgiving because right. Of, right. of the great food. And then people just tend to pile it on. It's a wonderful tradition. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying that you should enjoy your Thanksgiving mm -hmm. meal, but just hold back a little bit and, and you'll feel say, better. You, you know, start off small. You can always go back for seconds if you really need to. Yes, and make exercise part of mm -hmm. your Thanksgiving tradition. Make a holiday walk part mm -hmm. of your tradition after the meal. Make it a new family tradition. All right, Cheryl, thank you very much. Thank you.